Yeah, we don't know if this game too is over. This game's over. Okay. Yeah. The shoulder somehow pulls up a W against Rocket. So, yeah, excellent. Since uh, he brought us their attention, Kishore is taking PR name games though. Like he's yeah, dude, he's taking game off Riley. He's crazy. He took game off Riley. Yeah. No, he's taking the game off Rocket. Both players, Riley and Rocket, in that like in PR region. PR yeah, yeah. in low PR region. Like, yeah. It, it actually, like even better than low PR. Like low PR is like the mid. -PR. It's like well, it's actually, like I'll, I'll consider both of them. Yeah, I'll, I'll consider them. Yeah, he beat, he beat Aura. Oh, he beat Aura. So he so, already beat a low... The, like, yeah, he already beat technically yeah. a PR. Yeah. So, and that's, that's it. Wow. I hate to say technically, I'm sorry. Uh, I still consider him a PR. Well, he was yeah. 16. So, yep. so right? that's it. Right? And then, so... And so she who goes. missed the cut? Because it was... Bjorg missed the cut. Kip, Kip, Kip got it. And Kip got in, did yeah. Who's 14, 15, 16 now? Because I know it's Fuzzy Aura and... So I think it's Kip 16. Uh, I think. Okay. The Schmack. The Schmack. He's a very emotional player. Oh, that's like Hungry Bunch. He's like his idol. Absolutely just like his idol, yeah. Dude, I wish you went to Gawley. Wish you went to Gawley. Yeah. Anyway, so we're going to talk about the match a little bit. I don't know what to say. I mean, let's be real. This wasn't Kishoto vs. Rock. This one sucked. It's not Icy vs. Puff, dude. Yeah, no, if it wasn't Kishoto vs. Rocket, I would not be here. No. Wow, this is pretty cool. I'm here for Rocket and Kishoto because I love them a lot. Yeah. But uh, he's he's pretty good at living. Like he's he's not really getting into the all same rock. He's not wobbling, which is fun. That's why we do that. It's the thing, is, the thing is that if you can have such a devastating punishment like that, we can grab an eighty and ten. Because Kishoto doesn't use the air as much, I think you should use the air a little bit more just to stop getting grabbed. Like that. He was really looking for the re-grab there. That would have been crazy. And that would have been crazy. Man, he's yeah, rocking yeah, he's, he's cool. I can see him he was hoping for the I.O. Like everyone else would do. But Kishoto was the I.O. in, dude. He's ready. I mean, Kishoto got with another PR win. Yeah, dude, that was, that was a very with another clutch, PR game win. Clutch PR win. Clutch win from it. Rocket, who was actually on the PR. Was so we're gonna we're gonna see a clip of that. We're gonna see a clip of that. Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's getting clipped, no doubt. All right, let's go watch some other sets. Yeah. Until okay. these, until this one. I like. I see you like stand up in the crowd. Oh, like, that's that was like, oh. a good time. Yeah, dude, that was perfect. Yeah, that was perfect. <laughs>
react is you kind of have to react to it, right? Like, you have to say, like, oh, it's at this height, so I can do this. And, like, you know, like, I feel like there's a lot more judgment. Whereas the stage of real shoes, it's kind of like, some combos are soft. Yeah. I wouldn't imagine the event dream workers, because they can play it very, very fast. Yeah. And you definitely run the dream workers. Yeah. I think. I don't think Nick would want to go over here either. Yeah, I can't see Yan one in Dreamland. There's just way too much space. And like he does have the horizontal recovery, but realistically you have to travel like play. You, you're not gonna recover if you're like that far stage gap. That's just not gonna happen. Yoshi's with random potential because of the sheer size of it. And it's kinda hard to follow him and glass up that guy. Right. I think it better is Ganon here. Oh yeah. For that reason, over the stage like here. But you see the place? Place for really well. Oh, and there's the deck. Oh, the wizard's foot yes, slide. Yeah. So rare. I want to say he's just going for recovery. Oh, def definitely going for recovery, but I played Oh, and right. there's the SD to even. Oh, I thought he was going to hold me so Yeah, me too. Do I was that. like, okay, I'm going to turn around the bracket. All right. So this is now game. suddenly tied. Yeah, it's tied. Okay, I don't know how much that's over him, but Mickey would take this. I don't know. They just got a small up. Oh, there you go. He got the stomp. He got the re-grab. He, he missed the tech. He got the shield. Yeah, it's, they try to keep it they try to it together now. He's got oh, he missed the tech again. Yeah. down as much as he can. He yeah, against the top though. But um, he's, uh, they got to avoid the rush down. Trying to find the most of the that he leaves. And there it is. Yeah, no, he's playing a lot more patient. Like, yeah. he's sort of waiting for the play to do things and reacting to them. He's not necessarily out speeding. Like, he's just, this punish game is just really on point. Nice time to get oh, pretty great. much out of crash can so we're sitting down. Yeah, the off the rip. Uh, nah, don't get greedy for it. Like, you'll, you'll get punished. He's still crash can so bad. Uh, oh, and there's... Oh, I thought he was going to... Oh, really? Yeah, should have been. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Right, oh, uh, sick. We got our little stock. last stock. No, this is really close. Uh, every time he, he like hits a platform, I'm worried about it. Because Nikki just takes a huge advantage. Oh, uh, oh. But I didn't think Clay was going for a ledge dash there. It's too, it's too scary. Oh, there's a jab. He, he got the tag, though. Oh, there's a dash tag, though. This could be it. This oh, could be it. One more good, solid Very, move land yeah. from Ganon. And it is... Oh, oh, and he... Oh, there's a tilt. tilt. Can you just hold ledge? Oh, it's it. there's Randall, though. Oh, and there it is. The, the bear. Very. The bear. Nikki Lightning. Big upset. For Taking that. the game. Off of play. Man, that was a very good I upset. really He's wish I'd seen that game win. I'd love to watch this whole set progress. That was impressive. That was really impressively done. 2 1. Oh, Ross Aura. Let's go. It's a very oh, weird weekly right now, man. Nah, they'll let me know. So maybe Aura maybe was going to be Ross. Dude, man, maybe, I'm maybe. down for it, bro. Upset City. Let's go. Maybe we'll get a Samus Ditto winner's finals. Dude, Oro Samus Fancy. Ditto would be so sick. <laughs> I I haven't seen it before. I haven't seen it before, so it would be fun. Anything I haven't seen before in Melee is is great. <laughs> if I saw a Bowser did open those finals, that would be dope. At least once. I don't know if it would be dope multiple times. Bowser. We got the tags. We got the tags in the go. God. Gods. Okay. Alright, Ross versus Gods. So, there it is. The FD ban. I don't know who won that, though. What? FD ban. I guess that would have been Ross. Who won oh, definitely. Definitely. Um, yeah, Oro no banning FD. FD. Really? I oh, figured yeah. he'd want to go there because the lack of platforms. I mean, I guess it's Fox. Oh, well, like, it's. Fox can really kind of run. Oh, oh you're against Clay now. Clay! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Upset City, man. <laughs> yeah, so, um, Ross is trying to outspeed, uh, outspeed, um, oh, geez, I forgot, <laughs> Oro for a little bit. Like, he's definitely, he definitely does a great job trying to overwhelm and, but also stay a little defensive at the same time, but he chooses really good times to go in. Um, and on Oro's side, he's very good at kind of baiting you to do whatever you want to do. Maybe it's be speaking characters, but they both play char their characters the way like they're supposed to be played, definitely. But Oro even goes for a little bit of offensive sometimes, as Sam should uh, at times. They can't just keep running away because you're just going to get lasered, but yeah, he's, uh, he's going for it. 
He he does some uh he does some slick stuff with Sam, still down. For real? Yeah. God. He did like a really nice you know. I was I thought he was gonna say God Slayer, but I realized there's not enough there's not enough things for that. This is that missile a little this bit. This game won? Yep. Looking pretty even so far. But um, I think... Uh, I don't know. Like, they're both actually moving very well. So they might just be uh, playing at the best right now. They just might just be really even. You know? Let's see what happens, yeah. I feel like everyone's going to clean this one up right there. Yep, he's in. Just, just curse. I'm psychic. Yeah, I guess um, so, man. I mean, not hard to tell with that percentage. Yeah, but it's not very hard. No. I, I take that W like, like the time I beat Twilight well, Chess dash back. Back. Yeah, that wave dash back was a little risky just because you didn't really have any space to, you know, work around. I think I'd go into the platform there and just try to crouch. You know what Samus is best at? Oh, nice grab. Getting the fair off it. I find Samus grabs are a little harder to get things off when people are aware. Right, like obviously if you're like practicing Samus or something, you, and you get like an up throw, you're like, well, this is gonna be complicity, right? But, like, when the person knows what they're doing, it's kinda hard. I mean if you so can get a downer on the platform, well. you can get like that'll lead to like like a tech chase, down smash, some shit like that, right? Well I think at that point the down smash is pretty much guaranteed. Yeah, definitely. And then that'll normally lead into something else. Yeah. <laughs> I was getting hit by these up these on the shields. Not something you want to let happen. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was a nice little bomb. Nice little big brain bomb. Dropping a bit of knowledge on this lad. Ooh, nice nair so. Can't get anything off it, but that is like 20 something percent. So. Nope, he messed Ooh. it up. That's alright. Uh, I'm looking not like looking Ross so even. Yeah, it's yeah, it was, it was really even for a second. In the, it happens, man. Like, you know, it's a floaty, you kind of get a little too comfortable sometimes. All that stuff like that. Yeah. Given Ross that works with that yeah. charge shot, yeah. I, I don't think that works very well. I'm not a big fan of the Hugo, the Hugo shot. I'm trying to, like. Yeah, trying to gimp with the little. The little yeah, it's little just not going to work, right? The little pebble. <laughs> yeah. Sam's here flicking rocks. The, watch trailer park kids, boys. Oh yeah, the bottle kids. The bo <laughs> that's, that's Samus when he's that's just Samus on charge. That's missile. Samus the on Stadium kids. Two when he's just like missile, 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 missile. Yeah. It's like oh a my bottle God. kids attack from trailer park boys. Dude, give me a mod with bottles. Yes. That'd be hilarious. Holy shit. Um, like they're like little missiles. They're just like Captain Falcon bottles. could just pull beer bottles as a as it's down B, like Peach. Turner, <laughs> just throw them. He could literally just be the or Ness. You can get drunk and throw him at Ness, like, you know? Yeah. That was his son. Pretty <laughs> <laughs> strong father being relationship. Oh my god, yeah, the classic trailer park uh, father relationship. Father and <laughs> son relationship. Um, you know, your son needs your stick of Yeah, I don't agree with this at all, I'm sorry, or Like, I really think you shouldn't go. Like, this is why. But, like, I know it's a good neutral for Samus sometimes, but, like, the Ross can... Samus' Ross. combo game is pretty, uh, pretty strong on the stage. Absolutely, but it's just the fact that... You, I think, well, like, FOD's gonna be bad. I think either Battlefield, like, again, uh, if it wasn't a complete wash... No, this is probably better than or, Battlefield. Like, it, it, Ross is proving that he kind of knew all of Oro's tricks, well, like most of them at least. Um, Can we just talk about how Oro just went for like... The, the bomb there? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he did that to me a nice few times, actually. Oh, if he Ross converted that SDI on that, like, overextension. Ooh, Ross kind of overextended that up there. If he converted that SDI to a stock with, like, a near something, that would have been yeah, so absolutely. balling. Uh, it's still nice SDI, though. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, Oro's, uh, I'll say this, like, Oro's good with close quarters action. He's good with it. But he's not good with it on a smaller stage as much as he is on, like, a slightly bigger stage. So I didn't think something like Pokemon, weird enough, would actually be not bad for him if he just weighed out some stuff. Right? Okay, I think Samus can live that. Uh, he, no, he's too close to the drapple. Oh, really? Yeah. It's to the point where like, you're against the wall, you're, su you're like, super close, it's like you can't drop him up. If you air dodge away, or like way down, like this, then you can, um, you can drop him. I'll be honest, I barely even know what that means. <laughs> like, right. it's like a shield drop angle almost. 
Away and down. So is away and down different than down and away? No. On the box? Um, no. So it's not really shield drop. Oh, it's the angle you go to when you're shield drop. When you're shield drop, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say. Down, like, down and right away or down and left away. Yeah, no, like, I, thought, that I thought like there was like modifiers and shit. Oh, there is modifiers, yeah. But it's like. But it doesn't work that way. Yeah. It's like. Oh, I thought Ross was living there. I was like, that's not a good look. Yeah, that's looking like Ross's game. Though. Oral patient, though. So, uh, I respect it. Oh, okay, ran on my stomach. Oh! <laughs> Ross is really aware. There. Oh, oh my god, Ross. SDI that perfectly. Really. I thought he was going to try to smash out a shield. Like, Please don't do that, Ross. There it is. Yeah, respectable win. Ross just showing his uh, Samus, Samus spread. Yeah. Go on. Kind of knows how to, how to mess it up. What is that? What? What is that made of? It's like very like... It's a vinyl-ish sticker, I know. Okay, I was like, yeah? shit, this is kind of, kind of cool. Yeah, it is. It was like three dollars, so... Okay. Who's he playing? Hey, Russ. What does this button do? It's a shield drop. It's Y2. What? So like, I'm holding shield right here, and I'm on a platform. I go with that. There's a shield drop button. You have a shield drop button. Yeah, that's cheating. That's, not, that's totally cheating. You have a shield drop button. It's called it's down not the, It's not the same. It's not the same. No, it's no, not. No, it's not. It's, 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 it's the exact same thing, dude. No, you have a button that shield drops for you. Like that's. No, no, no. I need to do three inputs. It's harder than shield dropping a controller. No, that's the analog stick to me. You may as well have an Arduino with shield drop macros. Yeah, exactly. Like, but like, if you have UCF, then it's the same thing. It's just so easy. Not as easy as that. Oh no, it's it's if you try it, it's it's hard because you you actually do spot dodge. But then you gotta do something out of that, like shine or up air. All right, I'm gonna make. I know, but three it's, it's, uh, it's there for. Wait, they're you. starting on FD. That's, that's okay, I'm, I'm actually I'm predicting a four star. Argue, this I'm is predicting a four star. A, uh, like half 50 50, but I don't think Fuzzy's kind of got what it I've heard that takes. this is Falcon's like a winning match for Falcon. Yeah, this is the best. Yeah. If you're like Zane, then it's good for you, but. It's still not Falcon. I think, I think it is. It's still Falcon's best matchup. Best stage, probably. Well, well, I'm sure Fancy will come over and tell us everything, but. Uh, <laughs> it, as far as I know. Oh, nice, uh, nice couple of uh, Fuzzy, prove me wrong or being like, I'm not getting this stuff. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> it will be, uh, it won't, it won't be slow snatch though, that's my good. No, nice down tilt. That was a you wanna, tricky You wanna... Enemy. Oh man, do you see the video? Oh wait, you're, are you in an OMP? I can't remember. Oh, you, oh, got, am, oh, you got terminated, didn't you? I am one of the hard bands of it on that team. Oh, that's right. As, my, as far as I'm concerned, it's still Kevin and Armand's party chat. <laughs> yeah, respect. But uh, that's what, that's what, that's what it was called last time I that was That was such a funny movie. That was, that was kind yeah, of funny. Me and Armand had that plan. There were some people who knew about that, but just didn't say anything. I think Riku knew. Derek knew. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I'm banning those people as soon as I get home. Oh, they didn't know. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm know. banning Riku, dude. Fuck Riku. But, uh, no, anyways, so, some whiff grabs up in here. Yeah, that's all you see out there. Uh, 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 yeah, Fancy's just trying to hit, really. That's, like, all he's got is on his mind, I think. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> A oh, nice recovery. Nice recovery. Whoosh. That ledge of instability. Didn't hit the tipper up there. It's an eight point. I see. Turn around Falcon Punch. Just a pivot um up smash. Uh pivot turnaround. Moonwalk. Soft knee to uh 
dive tilt. <laughs> Yeah. This, is a, this is a platform. Can you do that on like the box? That? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Go Samus. Okay. I respect it. Ready? He's lost. Falcon, Falcon sucks on the stage. In my opinion. Falcon is stupid on that phone. Like, uh, how, where's he got to run? Like, nowhere. No, yeah, uh, people, like... people will prove me wrong on videos and stuff. But, like,. Play it, but none's really good on the stage. But like that's yeah. none's, none's a very like spastic player, so it's like uh, it works out a little. Bit. I thought about you know, that. I took none of last stock in bracket. What? I took none of last stock in bracket. That's right. On uh. What? Alright. Wait. What about playing rocket? All right, so even up, kind of, kind of even. I, I don't know shit about this match. I'm not even gonna lie, but uh, I know Marth can. Uh, Marth can combo Samus better than most characters. So, with, you know, forward airs and... That's about the extent of my matchup knowledge. She just gets that raw F smash on the run in. I was even really letting these F smashes rip and these edge guards this set. I was, I was well timed by Fancy, well timed, well spaced to avoid that. I love how Fancy just like drops them bombs and then fades back to cover it so uh, Fuzzy can't edge guard without getting hit by the bomb. <laughs> And that's that's another stock. Three stocks and one. It, this looked close at the beginning, but Fancy just making use of these light shields and just doing everything you know he needs to do. It seems like. And although Fuzzy's making good decisions and doing good things, it's just like the game is still Fancy. It's still in his control. That's it, yeah. Just wave dash your edge roll up. Oh no. Oh, gets a grab in the near. I really don't see how Fuzzy can win this, to be honest, but let's see, let's see if she can prove me wrong. That's the. Oh, trying, to, trying to stunt on him. No. Yeah. So that was, that was fancy. Fancy being fancy. Sean White, second best in our community behind Aldo. And uh, I don't know. I don't know what we got next, but my. Is this Falco versus Nick Lightning? It is Falco versus Nick Lightning. Let's see. So this, this is a matchup I can probably talk more about than the last one, because I don't know shit about Samus. It's probably why I always lose to Samus. <laughs> Oh, right into the match. All right, two money signs. I always respect two money signs. So. And uh, even 
nothing so far. This is gonna be probably successful edge guard. Yeah. He's not gonna make it back from that. But uh we'll see if uh Nick can take this back quickly. All he needs, yeah, just one up here, something like that. That should be it, just grab wedge. Or no. Okay, I'm making a couple flubs, but Probably should have cleaned the stock up by now. He had some opportunities, but uh, Riley's gonna see if he can make that hurt. Yeah, Riley. Riley takes the entire stock off that. So, that hurts considering. Oh! Yeah. Not a good look for Nick. I think this is that point where. So I think like. Oh my god. That almost that almost made it all worth it. But Oh, that was those two savage down airs into an almost even more savage down smash. Power shield crab reverse jab back air. <laughs> That was, uh, yeah, that was great. Um, still... Ken is dead. I was gonna say it might be doable, and then he died. So, Riley's probably gonna ban, like... I don't know. Okay. They go straight to, they show, they go straight back. Nick probably wanted to run back because he kind of, you know, made a couple flubs he shouldn't have made. If it wasn't for that, it would have been a much closer match. So he, wa he wants to prove that that was, that was him making mistakes, not him losing, I guess. You know. Ooh. That down air is so much shield, uh, shield damage. Or shield stun, so much... Up here, killing off the top. I didn't. I didn't think I was gonna kill at all. Gets the forward air, and that's gonna be. That should be it. Just grab ledge, and oh my god! Apparently, I can't judge Falco's recovery. That was, some, that was some clean movement. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Riley's like just throwing out moves everywhere on the stage right now. And everywhere. It's like Falco's like everywhere at the same time. And that that's it, yeah. And oh my god, I can't judge recoveries. Back here, and that's it. Three up tilts. It feels so bad when you get hit by three up tilts in a row. This is looking pretty rip. Nick is gonna... Nick's gonna have to pull some lightning out here to, to win this, but... That could be it if he... Gets it, roll up ledge, and... Two quick ones, and he's still in this. Still goes to game three. This is game three. Oh, really? Or game two. Yeah. Riley's up game? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, game one wasn't a good look, though. No? Um, Nick SD'd once, and he also just a couple flubs. No, it's not hard. Yeah, it's, it's not hard. Yeah, it's not much that can be done here. That's it off the top. Yeah. It'd be kind of. Who it is? Uh, Nicky Lightning. Really? Hey, yeah, that's how he's there around. So Damn. Okay, I didn't know that. Fuck. 
I'm taking a play Ben now. I'm not feeling too good. You're like not? in terms of play gameplay right now versus Falco. I was just playing against Wall because it wasn't pretty. And Ben's way better. Yeah. But oh well, I'll kick What Ben's in losers? Oh, I'm probably gonna play Adam then, or whoever oh. Adam loses to. There you go. Oh my Jesus. Here I almost thought I had to play Kip. You were here worrying and you're like, I got a Falcon or a Sheik, whichever one. <laughs> Alright, so we got Ross Apow on stream. Homie matchup. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so where are we gonna go? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> we're probably gonna go to Kunit. Oh, it's sheep. Yeah. Um, Apow's <laughs> Sheik really looking like it's a... Uh, I didn't know Sheik, Apow Sheik was such a real thing. But it is, damn. I mean, that was a bit of a flaw. That should have been... Uh, Grab ledge back here, but he uh, doesn't cost him anything, so you know, it doesn't really matter. Oh my god! Oh, that was almost slick by APAL, but he, uh, he dies for it. Can't let that get him down though, he was looking clean. But I feel like that might have been all Roth needed to turn this heavily in his favor. Oh, that was that shine of overshine. I have to say, I'm impressed with Apex Sheik, how quickly he's come along. Runs into that get up attack. I don't know why people always run to that get up attack. I just do it all the time. People will run into it 75% of the time. Oh yeah. It's like they just want a constant attack. But, uh, that's the Oh. oh. Maybe I was trying to do all the pro things, but I got that weak back here on that first edge guard and that cost him. Two SDs. No need to feel down about that. He should. He should. I'm not back if I were him, but he probably has something. He probably prefers the stage. But I feel like the stage might be just what Ross needs to just run green. There's all that freedom. And that hurts. Yeah, giving giving Ross the freedom to move and get his uh get his stuff going can hurt sometimes. So I don't I really think going back to FOD was the right choice. Based off the matchup and based off the players, so um. 
It's uh, I don't know this. He, try, he tries to cover it out. He goes for like a really hard read. Probably wouldn't have better just to like go for like to put him in a position to react to something. Probably take ledge so he could react to the back air and then still maybe cover high. But uh, I, I respect the read anyway. It seems like he's a read heavy Sheik on his uh, tech chases. He got tech chases with Sheik like it's Falcon, which makes sense being a former Falcon man. But uh, I think he probably should work on the. Uh... Oh, this is this is a little more Sheik like. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Apex over there saying, "No, I can do that too." Oh, that was a nice crouch cancel. Any on shop on that needle, he probably would have had that stock too. Alright. I think Apex can clean up this stock and maybe one more, but I think this is Ross's game in the long run. He goes out there and gets that, yeah. I think Apex can clean up one more stock. No, no, not gonna happen. Ross takes it. <laughs> hey, pal. I, I was really impressed with your chic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I thought it was good. Thanks, man. I was surprised. I, I thought you were gonna get steamrolled. But I've been grinding a lot. Like, game one, you sd would twice. Yeah, it was I know. 2 2 2. So you, he killed you twice, you sd would twice, and you killed him twice. Yeah, and then game two, he just went fucking hard. I think. Yeah, I, I really don't think in that matchup you want to take him back to Dreamland. Uh, especially yeah. not a player like Fox yeah. or a player like Ross. Yeah. Give him that room to run. Yeah. Um, I think FOD was good. I mean, okay. you SD'd twice. Yeah. I don't. I don't think you should let you take him to FD. Yeah. Because Yoshi's FOD, I think, is better for Fox than Yoshi's. Yeah, like, for sure. Like Fox wants to ban Dreamland and FOD, in my opinion. Yeah. Because she does not want to go to FD. No, for sure. She would probably rather not go to Yoshi's because mm -hmm. it makes it really hard for Sheik to move, and it's it can be frustrating to Sheik. And they end up on Battlefield. Yeah, exactly. Um, Battlefield was where I was hoping to go. Uh, I like I, FOD. I think FOD is better for you. Yeah. Just because it's worse for him more. Uh, True, yeah. You're not really that restricted because Sheik's short hop is so weird, anyways. That, like, yeah, it's basically a full hop almost. Yeah. Um, yeah I think you should have back. Yeah, I, I think uh, if I had thought about it a bit more, I wouldn't have went to Dreamland. But uh, the reason was, like, I, when I play Falco, I like Dreamland in that matchup. And for some reason, I just thought that would translate to Fox. But, uh, I really like that matchup. Like, when I play Falco, I really like Dreamland there, so it just doesn't work this way. When you play Falco? Yeah. As no, Falco or against. When I play against Falco, Sheik, I actually really like that. Falco can't, like, use the space the same. Exactly. Like, right? yeah. Fox likes Dreamland for the same reason Falcon likes Dreamland. Like, Fox can just move. Yeah. And, like, sure. Fox can outrun you, so you can never really keep up with him. Whenever he feels pressured, he can, like, he always has room to back out, and he can, the platforms are so good that you can just go over them, and there's always someone from the run away. Yeah. So you can never really corner Fox. Same way it's hard to corner Falco on that stage. For Falco, you can. Falco, you can be like, you're, you can jump high, but like, you can't, you're not fast enough to really get away. Mm -hmm. um, so I think going back to FOD would have been better. Yeah, for sure. And, I uh, think that's what I'll do next time. They're either FOD or just like not doing Obviously not FOD either. Yeah, FD is like the last stage you want to go. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's a pretty bad. That's that's what I learned. <laughs> yeah, I learned FD is really bad. <laughs> yeah. But no, overall, like, uh, I thought your Sheik was really good. The only other thing that I saw was, see, I think sometimes you have a tendency to tech chase like you're still playing top. Yeah, which no, I'll, I do. I still do the wave dash tech chase. And uh, you still go for, like, aerials and stuff. Yeah. Which, uh, yeah, I mean, I like... I said that once, and I don't know if you heard me or you just started doing it, but immediately after you did like a really nice tech chase, like a chic one, I was like, oh fuck, I'm wrong. Uh, <laughs> I didn't I, hear you, but I, I recognized in my head that I was doing Yeah, I guess we recognized it for the same reason. Yeah. And uh, the only other thing I thought was, uh, you also edge cards like you're still playing Falcon. Yeah. Which obviously, you know, that'll come with time. But like... I think Sheik, like, you can just put yourself, especially against Fox, I think you can just put yourself in a position where, like, you take ledge, and you can really easily react to 
you can back air to cover ledge and flat on stage. Yeah. And then you might not be able to react to them going high, but you can behave in a way that doesn't let them get out. So even if they go high and shield, you can behave in a way that like kind of like applies pressure to everywhere they want to go. You know what I mean? Like that like curve of everywhere they want to go off the platform, like to up and to down. Yeah. You can apply pressure to that area. And even though they do get back to stage, they don't get back to true neutral. Yeah, it's like advantage. Like in a disadvantage. Yeah, they put themselves in a disadvantage. Yeah. Whereas you were kind of trying to like read and hit like a forty on average a couple times. Yeah. But uh, you died for a couple times, and uh, it wasn't working consistently. I think I think if those changes play a little less like Falcon, and a little more like Sheik, and I think if Sheik would be really really good. In practice, I think what I would want to do if Fox went high is uh, you do your back air to cover, and then you land an F tilt if you recognize they go high. Like you have time. To fast fall your back air, land on stage and F to, or feel like F I'm talking if they go high on the platform. Oh, on the platform, yeah. No. Because if they go high, I was thinking like if high they, to ledge. If they go to ledge, yeah. oh yeah, you can cover that with a. Uh, if they go high and fade back to ledge, yeah, you can cover that with a forward tilt. Um, forward tilt. Forward air, yeah. or you can cover with the back air too if you don't space it properly. But ideally, you should be able to forward air forward. Too. Okay, but uh, yeah, I think like one of the big mix-ups for that is whether Fox goes to ledge straight in or to the platform, mm -hmm. and you can cover ledge and straight in at the same time, kind of, yeah. if you time it right. But you can't cover all three, so the Fox will sometimes go to platform, and then sometimes what I would do is like. I would fake the platform then. Yeah. So they come up with the back ear and then they try to cover platform and I go to ledge. But that's like a rare mix up. Um, and they're gonna they're gonna trick you with that a couple times. Like you can't not no, you can't yeah, not get tricked by that. But you can just minimize how often they get you. But uh, I think if you react like yeah, mostly just react a little more. For sure. Man. Not read as much like Falcon. But react more like a sheep. I think your Sheik would be really good. Thanks, man. You, you were looking clean, like, I think in every other way. Like, all the other Sheik stuff and your neutral and your Which movement I'm was good. Because I've only actually, like, I started practicing, like, this week, like, hard enough. Like, I, did, yeah. like, I was playing, like, probably about an hour a game today. Yeah. It paid off for once in my fucking life. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I was, I, I thought you were going to get Seymour. <laughs> and you did really well. So I was, Thanks, dude. I was impressed. I yeah. <laughs> like I was saying, while these two were playing uh, friendlies earlier, Aldo looking like number one in L.
Definitely not game one. Yeah, I think so. Oh, no. Hmm. I think Fancy's up game. Is Fancy up game, Johnny? It's, it's 1 0. 1 0, yeah. Okay, that's all right. They must have slipped a game by me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they played a game while I was talking to APAW about your guys' set. What, what did APAW have to say about that? Um, I don't know. We're mostly just talking about his Sheik stuff. He made a lot of, like, he's playing Sheik like Falcon. He's making a lot Fair of, like, enough. dumb mistakes like that. But, like, he's playing, playing Sheik for two weeks, so. Yeah, no, I think he did pretty well. Yeah, I thought his Sheik was really good. I thought you were going to steamroll it. Especially first game. He really was good first. He got gimped twice very early in the second game, so he didn't have a chance to really. He sd would twice in the first game, yeah. too. Did, I don't even yeah, remember. he did, yeah. There was uh, two times that he went out for edge guards, and then you kind of just like yoinked the ledge on him. Oh, I missed the jump. Is that it? I'll go. I take it back. What's your fancy? Fancy still number one. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Said I can get behind commentating. Ross Riley. Ready? Go. All right. So let's see. He gets the power shield full hop drill. That was, that was really nice. We didn't get that much off of it, but it's still very nice. Oh, that was actually a really nice up smash out of shield, the way he timed it to catch Riley out of his approach off the laser. Taking center stage, coming over. Oh no. Yeah, that's, that's it. Not hard to take that stock there. Oh, that was, that was on the silver platter for Riley. But Riley makes up for it. No oh, shine clank. Nothing better than a good shine clank. Let's see what Riley can get off this. Not much. Interesting. I didn't think Ross was going to be able to get out of that combo, but Ross with his patentist up smashes. And that's going to be that's going to be another stock there. So far, this is looking kind of even, but I think Ross is the edge. He's, uh, he's out playing Riley, out moving Riley a little bit here. He's not letting Riley get any solid combos, get anything real started. Oh, the spacing on that Nair to jump back over shield. It's really good. Yeah, this is starting to look like a steamrolling now. Ross is running all over him. A little too quick for Riley here. Riley's looking to get something here, but... Three off smashes. No no one but Ross will hit that. And that's it. And that's it, yeah. Oh. That is it, yeah. Little little longer method chosen, but still works nonetheless. I feel like I feel like Ross uh, or Riley struggles a lot with Ross. Ross plays a little quick for Riley's liking, I think. Oh. Oh yeah, that uh, that should have been an easy stock. He took the he took the jump with the F smash, but let's see, let's see how Riley does on this stage. I wouldn't think that he would want to go here. 
but he, he Riley's definitely a swinger, so he might benefit from a stage like this. Solo commentate this. If there's one matchup I have to solo commentate, though, Fox Falco is the one. I was solo commentating uh, Marth Samus earlier. You versus uh, Fuzzy, and I literally just sat here and said, I don't know anything about this match. I, the commentary was like, I don't know anything about this matchup, but that was a cool down smash. And then I mostly spent the time talking about how I liked the way you bombed and then fell back. Nice. It was some pretty bad commentary. Only the best of commentary here. Yeah. But yeah, uh, Ross's, Ross's speed is always a little much for Riley to handle. Yeah, it seemed like he kind of just... He steamrolled in game one. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. And uh, I get why Riley came here, but I also think maybe the closest... I don't, yeah, I don't I think know where Riley like, should have went. Down. Yeah. Like, Dreamland probably would have been a really good pick. I, I like that versus Ross. Ross or Matt Falco. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. It's the only stage I ever beat him on is fucking Dreamland if I ever take a game. <laughs> I love spaces on Dreamland. I think it's just such a good... They can both play so freely. Yeah. It's such a good, like... Stage for that regard. But yeah, no, Ross, or Riley definitely proving that this this stage is doing a lot better for him. That was, oh, nice, yeah. that was nice to go out there. He definitely too. feels com more comfortable yeah. on the stage. Yeah, R Riley likes to trade hits. Riley loves to just. He loves to swing. He loves to. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then maybe uh, this is the stage for him, but then yeah. again, Ross is a fucking shiny gimmick master. Either way, though, this is looking way better than game one, so I, yes. do, I do think it was a good choice. I think, uh, you know, Riley knows his play style, so trust his judgment. But just losing the game on Battlefield is such a heartbreaker, because that's like the most neutral stage in the game. Yeah. Especially in this matchup. And that, that's going to be it. But uh, that was... I didn't have the best thing, but that was... I think he play, played well game two. Yeah, I'm going to assume they play almost every week, so... They play a lot, and I think they normally look something like that. Uh, it's hard. It is, yeah. I think just like the matchup specifically, Ross is Fox. Very fast. If I lost to Aldo again, I probably would have been devastated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd assume. I put in a lot of time in the Jigglypuff matchup. I actually learned her how to shield up and the frame data and all this shit. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Sounds like a. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what about what? What about losers round three finals? It's the finals for somebody. Like every losers round is the finals for someone. It's the end of the road. Oh, Falcon. Okay, good. Good. I was hoping I didn't have to commentate Fox Samus because I don't know shit about Samus, so I always fail to commentate those matchups. But Fox, Fox Falcon, I can I can solo comment. Commentate that. Last call for Amy. <laughs> Time is it? It's only 8:30. Yeah, yeah, Amy's just starting now, but uh, for all you watchers out there, Amy's still surviving without Jordan. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, it did. But uh, now he's like gone, gone. But yeah, you're right, Johnny. Where are they going? FOD, okay. So uh, I guess Fancy preferred FOD over Yoshi's and FD, which. Yeah. I think this could be a really good matchup. I don't know if. Uh... I don't know if Ross has ever won this, but he's definitely not far off from being able to do it. So that could be a back air, yeah. I feel like that shield grab wasn't real. I think a shine there would have. I'm not sure why Ross didn't shine, but. Just the Ross F smash. And then he goes out there. Ross isn't on the screen, but Fancy's still hitting that up here. Drill from ledge can be so good. It can be dangerous too, but... Oh, Ross. Ross looking clean as fuck here. It's back here. 
Yeah, really nice by Roth. That entire sequence just, you know, taking advantage of Falcon's limited options and really just consistently hitting them every time. Just eventually he will die. But Fan Fancy's getting those up airs. You can't, you can't up be somewhere where Fancy can react to it because he will. He'll he'll go out there and get the up air. Oh, that was creative. Uh, pays off too, so risky, but it, it works. So it's... oh my God, Ross, Ross, Ross! I think that was like a shine turnaround jump cancel, but sliding off canceled his uh, animation. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. fancy though. Like every one of his kills have just been something like that so far. Just a well placed up ear on Ross's recovery. It was very clean. That was a up ear to shield. Oh, okay, yeah, that was, that was nice by Ross. Fancy should have known better, but th that wasn't so nice running into that. No, Fancy! Okay. Yeah. Ross just up smashing. Oh my, what's. Never seen so many up smashes in my life. There's another one. I'm not Ross, Ross, Ross. Let's go. I want to see Ross do this. I don't think Ross has ever beaten Fancy, so... Oh, that's it. Uh, I really want to see him win this set. But... Oh, that, that was a slobber knocker of an ending. Very good. All right, so they go to Yo Yoshi's. Ross takes him to Yoshi. I can definitely see this. Ross doesn't really seem like the type of fox that would take a uh, Falcon to FD. Even though I do think that's probably uh, maybe not the best choice. <laughs> Catches him, pokes his head, tries to just jump on stage. It's kind of good mix-up, but sometimes it can also be a bit of a lazy option. Fancy, fancy kind of gets him for that. That's all you can do, though. Oh, down air. Yes! <laughs> yes, that was, that was sick. Fancy does it for the fans. Um, yeah, Fancy. Fancy look. Okay, that was that was not very good, but Fancy looks like he turned it up a notch, like cleanness wise of how he's playing. And somehow he seems like, as a Falcon, he's managing to smother the fox on Yoshi's, which is very impressive. But that's what Fancy does. Definitely looking for that up air. I don't think he thought that Ross would be able to get to the other side and off the platform. Backs off when he sees that, adjusts, and still gets the uh, recovery. But Ross, Ross is going to take this, I like to think. Oh, no. Uh, I think that was just an accident. I don't think he meant to turn around there. But that's... Ross going for that up here. That had a hit. Probably wouldn't have killed, but we let Ross back on stage, and it would have been baller. So I, I respect you, Dan. Where are they going? Uh, game three. Ross, Ross is going back. Okay, we'll see. Fancy's tech chasing right now is just so, so clean. Oh my god. 
fancy, fancy, fancy. <laughs> That stopped me. Oh no, not like not like that. If you wanna see that at zero. Is <laughs> that hit that was? Okay, Ross is moving right now. That, that was a really nice sequence there. But, oh, Randall coming out. Randall just getting in the way there, saving Ross. Fancy tried to cover, but he just couldn't quite do it. I feel like just time and time again, even like good players just underestimate the length and range of getup attack. I like how on that edge guard, I feel like, because Fancy definitely could have rolled up ledge, I feel like he only went for that up air because it covered Randall. Like that up air was like marginally better than rolling just because if Randall came out, then uh... Oh. Covered it. Oh, that's that could be it. No. Nope. All right, Ross can get this with a back here, maybe. Okay, that's a shine. Ross just needs one more inning. Take this to take this to game four. Oh, that that could be it. Fancy's gonna, gonna go for that. Yeah, three zero. Good set. Good shit by Ross. Fancy's just kind of too clean. Gets it, but uh, assuming Ross will win it, run it back. We'll have grands. Ross, uh, Ross, fancy grands. Fancy. On, on that one up here, because there's there's one up here where like you de you definitely could have rolled, but you up here anyways. Were you trying to cover Randall? Was there a reason for that? Or that's that's what it looked like to me. But I wasn't. I was curious. One up here. Which one? Like what stock? Like you were Game. dropping down from ledge, coming up up here now. And there's one point where like there's no way he was making it to ledge, but if Randall came out, he could have clipped on Randall. Was that why he did that, or is it just kind of like a? Well, it's because the small lip of the platform goes slightly out past the ledge, so there was a small chance he could have faded and got onto the top platform. So I was like, I'm gonna cover. Oh really? Everything. Yeah. I didn't know the, uh, so the platform was wide on the stage. Yeah, a little bit. I didn't know like, that. That's why Sheik, if she goes on this stage, she can up be straight up and land on the top on the platform above instead of just falling to her death. Hmm. I guess that's why the fox is always ear dodge off the side. Yeah. On the CPUs. That annoys me. Whenever I try to play against a fox CPU and like, I think it's like 20 exactly or something, they just ear dodge off that platform. <laughs> I don't care, I just read this. It's this. <laughs> it's true though, sometimes you have a name, you just have to, you have to live up to it. Yep. Look. Who's supposed uh, to be next? I don't know, they probably don't have anything. Put someone on stream bot. Did, have you ever have you ever used one of these? What is it? It's like the stupidest calculator. It was meant to teach kids how to do math, mm -hmm. but it's just the most inefficient. It's like a you know a boppet. It. It's like boppet it mixed with a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> 
let's make math fun. <laughs> I had one of them when I was a kid, and it was the stupidest thing ever. It looks like a fucking Pringles can. It does, yeah, but from the future. <laughs> yeah. Like, it tells you how many Pringles are left in there, and you can fucking cuss. <laughs> That'd be dope. <laughs> yeah. Pringles needs to buy that shit. Is that your actual name? Uh, Amy Brackett's causing a racket. What else is new? I don't care what happens, I beat Aldo. <laughs> you just gotta hope that uh, Ross beats Aldo and losers. Yeah. Or you can be ambitious and just beat Aldo again. Show him that you got that puff down lock. I might split the pot if it come, ends up being all the. <laughs> no, you can't do that. Yeah, I know. I'm just like, that's, the, that's the coward's way out. Yeah. Replacing my heart with another liver so I can drink more and cure less. That, that's. Yeah. Doctor should get on that. Yeah, I don't beat Aldo unless I win the tournament. Really. I, mean, I may have taken a set off, of but I don't beat him. Well, you gotta win the tournament. Yeah. You gotta claim it. Yeah, you know, especially if he makes it the grades. That's how it works. Oh, no, Wait, Johnny, did that happen again? Yeah. I thought it went away the first time. Oh shit. It's really well, funny. You, you came back on academic probation, right? Yeah. No, I wasn't on it. I was on it for the test got awarded. So I kind of would go and say, did she have to take a year off? Yeah, I don't know if I am. I'm, I'm thinking about just robbing a bank. We fucking dip out to Venezuela. Where, like, a, a We're all millionaires and fucking A Canadian dollar is worth like a fucking... You get a Lambo at that. Fuck. They'll look at you and be like, you have a shirt. <laughs> Man, think about that. There might be like exotic cars for sale down there for dirt cheap. There's exotic cars you can take off the road in Saudi Arabia. Uh, they just gotta let me in there and then get the car and let me leave. Mm. But that's so fucked. The people abandon supercars. Do they actually? Look at all. There's pictures like abandoned supercars in Saudi Arabia. Jeez. So you can just go in there. If, so I mean, I think technically it's still stealing. Like, I don't know if you can just go take them. Here, I'll look it up right now. So it's like a waterfall. It's like it's not common, but it happens. Oh, yeah, in Dubai. Or it's for sale. Um, I don't want to look at for sale. Oh, wait, what is this? So those are people who have fuck you money, I'm guessing. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, they're dead. That's awesome. <laughs> are you free to take abandoned cars in Dubai? That's, this is the question. Look at this. Like, It's just been there forever. This and is a Porsche. Is that a Porsche? Uh, or is that just a Miata? BMW oh, okay. X something. But like, that's not even one of the nicer ones. Like, there's like every now and then you'll see like an abandoned Lambo. <laughs> We're looking up abandoned supercars in Dubai and how fucked it is that people just like they're so rich that sometimes they just leave a Lambo and never come back for it. <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck. Imagine the dude was like, nah, you can just take this Lambo. Absolutely, please contact him. Yeah, it's like, yeah, cop, you can have that Lambo. Like, not even cop, it's like, yeah, the guy who found it could just keep it. Yeah. I, I'd sell it at that point. Like, it's like an abandoned, like, I think a Ferrari. Look at that. That's just abandoned. That's an Enzo, isn't it? Yeah. Or else it's just abandoned in Dubai. It's just so, it's just dusty because no one took it. It's just been left there so long. <laughs> like... <laughs> Look at this. That's like an Audi R8. Just no one's claimed it. Dude, just, when you go to like fucking Dubai, like, I, yeah, I used to fucking live in the Middle East. I don't, I don't t like tell a lot of people that, but yeah, dude, fucking for three years I lived in the Middle East. Just because it was so long ago. I'm not ashamed of it or anything, but yeah, like fucking, I lived in Doha, Qatar for three years. My parents got jobs at college over there. I did grade three, five, and six there. What the fuck? Yeah, and I, I was an, I was an hour flight from Dubai, man. And I remember going to Dubai back in the day. You land there in the airport and everything. 
everything around it is white. It's just so rich that everything is literally just white. Like you just you land there and it's like white walls, white suitcase conveyors, like everybody's dressed in white or black. Like it's fucked, man. Like it's look, it looks like it's like. We need to take a trip. I want to go to somewhere Dubai. fucking yeah. weird. You know you you know you do. Actually, no, don't get mad. I was gonna be too irated. Yeah. I was gonna reference Instagram models. I'm sure you can figure it out from there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, you know, I went I went to school with a girl who's like actually like a huge Instagram model. Yeah. She has like 600 something thousand followers. Holy fuck. I know. What's her name? Uh, Sarah McDonald. I know. I, I, I would follow her if I could get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, no, she, she's mad hot, dude. Uh, I know. You don't need to follow her to creep her shit. So. No, what about Gamble Girl? Controller Girl. Oh, we don't talk about Controller Girl. <laughs> on the island. Okay. Uh, is, there, is there a story? No, no, there's this controller body that I'll all smash it oh, up. Like, kind of. Ju- she was a thought. She was an absolute thought. Yeah, <laughs> you know who else? Westball's sister. Oh, really? God, Fire. yeah. She was uh, she was talking to Michael at Gommel, like 2016. Yeah. She was sitting right next to him. And uh, she was asking about the different games. She never played the game, but she's like a professional photographer, so she came with him. I forget her name, but she is like fucking... Yeah, yeah. And she's a great person, West Balls, if you're listening. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she made fun of Smash 4 and she liked Melee, so... <laughs> I mean, that makes That's already oh, a win. She is, she's a winner. ahead of her time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she just sat there and she's like, so I get the feeling that no one likes that game. Everyone prefers this one. She pointed like, the yeah. two on screen. Looks over. All the screen, like, there's like three six-year-olds and bottled around the time for TV. Yeah. It's my turn. Mom said I could have two games. <laughs> Mom said I could. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Man, Kev, next time we have an NL thing, you need to come again. I, I will go, it's just, I went to Gamma once, and like, where I don't play the game anymore, like seriously, it's just like, yeah. I met all the players, I went yeah, to Toronto, I would much rather go somewhere else. Like, it was really fun, I must say, but... Like, yeah, I heard like, you guys were drinking with all the pro players, that's something I didn't get to do. Yeah, no, and, but I agree, like, I, like for you as someone who's not a serious player, yeah, you've already met the top players and everything. Yeah. But, like, I, I still, like, I didn't have the top player, like, starstruckness that I had the first time that they got off the rock, but, like, yeah. I actually quite the opposite this time, like, I don't know. Yeah, I was kind of like, just whatever, let me see how far I, I wanted to make it yeah. fair in bracket. Yeah, like, I, so. I, yeah, I'm sure I still would have had a blast. It's just, if I'm going to dish out, like, probably $1,500 yeah, $1, for a couple days, I guarantee I could go somewhere else. If you were there, you would have dragged me out of that fucking bed and like, we're done drinking. Oh, definitely. <laughs> I would have, yeah. I, I didn't even want to try. I, I was like... I was just... I, I was I pretty just, cranky, too. Well, exactly, exactly. I just was like, yeah, he needs to be left alone right now. I was lasting. He wants to be enjoy drinking. You just wanted to sleep off. Yeah. Sit down. Uh, I can't complain, though. I got a job out of it, No, so. of course. You were out there for yeah? more, more of the reasons. Yeah. Uh, well, I went up there a day early because I was sending out resumes two weeks before and someone got back to me and I set up an interview so on that, for that Friday. So, Friday morning on the friendliest day, I fucking went to an interview, got a job, went to the venue, realized I fucked up my schedule. <laughs> Almost cost an L the crew battle, but... Oh, I heard about that. <laughs> yeah, Skiz saved everyone's life. Skiz is the unsung hero. Yeah, but... Oh, I, I agree. Skiz is the unsung hero. Yeah. He deserves a lot of credit. Well, he's the, Yeah, he's the one that... He went to the wrong Sheridan, too, with all of our luggage. Yeah, it was so funny. <laughs> Skiz, Skiz's first, like, three hours was a fucking rough time. Dude, you know when we got off the plane? This was the way to trip help. When we got off the plane, me and Skiz started booking it as fast as we could, like, as soon as we could get off the plane, we started running. We're booted up the aisle. You can hear people in the background like, oh, to be young again, and all this stuff, as we're booted up the aisle. And somebody calls in, hey, Jesse, Jesse. We fucking turn around, and Skiz had forgot his wallet on the plane we moved so fast. Imagine if Skiz was left with both of our luggage and no way to get a cab, because oh. he had no money, because he, he had no ID, so he couldn't get a bank. Imagine being lost in Toronto without your ID or your bank card. How do you get one or the other without, like, you know? He had to go to his bank and then... Fuck around. You have to walk to a bank with both of our luggages. Somehow prove he's Jesse Cranford without his ID to yeah. get access to money. God knows his phone's probably dying too. It's because it's just he left there with in the middle of Toronto, nobody knows where he is. He'd be on the side of the road begging for enough money to get a cab. <laughs> to get to Gommel. You wouldn't even be thinking about any of that. He'd make a sign like, get me to Gommel. No one would know what it means, but he didn't think he would. Oh, man. What is Gommel? Is that some new fucking... Slash. 
anymore. Uh, no, uh, is he still throwing uh, his, uh, his camper party on the beach? Camper party? Oh, I've heard about this camper party. I've never heard a date. I haven't heard a date either. I just know it's a summer thing. Yeah, it's a summer thing. When, when his parents go out, I think. Yeah. So has he like all down a camper to the beach? And just well, the, I think, I think it's already there. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I think uh, I think he's gonna invite like a bunch of people. That's a smash If you're here, I'm assuming you'll be welcome. Yeah. Basically, any day. Uh, next week. Oh. Well. Yeah, I maybe. definitely won't be here. Yeah. Unless I get fired or something. Are you gonna be in St. John's for next week or? No. I'm in St. John's for the weekend. Gonna see a couple movies with my cousin. I might be able to get some bruise with the boss. I just want to get something to go. I don't think I'll ever see you guys get out of here, so I'm going to the last time I'll see it. Oh, right on, dude. Yeah, it's been chill. Yeah, it's been a time. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe I'll pull you in after a year or two. I'll just get sick of it. Are you going to try to walk? I'll sure he's back at some point, and I'll see you up there. Yeah. yeah. He'll, he'll, sma- he'll get in Smash Heaven up there in Toronto. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How's this? I was meaning to ask you, like, how's the scene work? It seems amazing. Well, one less we could have used to be, but... Uh, one one have, less. Yeah, they have a ton of weeks. It's here this year. <laughs> 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 so I just joined the group and they just post a bunch of stuff? Uh, yeah, like there's Smash and Fat and then there's uh, Ryan. Oh, okay. Three weeks. They have like top 100 players still there. Yeah, no, no, no one's all posted in the Ontario group. Like. But you got, did you guys make like good friends with none? Because he was posting about H back and shit and smashing. Was up. he? Smash, oh, uh, I don't. I don't remember. Really, I don't think so. Even I don't think none was at the after party. Oh, he wasn't. No. Why was he posting Smash? I, I have no idea. Wait, why. none posted Smash. Yeah, he, he commented on one of the H back memes. Uh, uh, none commented on the uh, Riley. Oh, the Riley as a goblin thing. I don't know how he's seen that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like what? I, I thought you guys like drank with none or something. No, we didn't no. drink with none. Oh, what did you guys drink with? I think none hated me. The hungry box is walking around and crawling. Dude, some top players are super hard to talk to, man. I don't think none I mean, shook my hand. Smash, but I'll just be real. None, none <laughs> would shake my hand well, after. Well, that's the thing yeah. about it. Like some people are like you know, really up there and they're just like uh, social. <laughs> yeah, of social structure. People yeah. get to the point where they're almost like nerd jocks. Yeah, yeah. yeah nerd jocks. Yeah, 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 that's what that's what it felt like. It felt like we were the nerd nerds and they were the nerd jocks. <laughs> Dude, I make more than like a week than you do in yeah. like your entire year. <laughs> yeah, I know. When, when t- when I try to make friends with the top Smash players and they're for me and I'm like, okay, Mister, I make ten grand a year for playing a children's game. Meanwhile. Me. Man, they gotta get their kick somewhere, right? <laughs> Hugs is like the only person who talks to me. Yeah. See you, boys. Nice to talk to you guys. Yeah. Yeah, Hugs is like my only top player homie at this point. Plus, like me and Skiz went up to Ice and tried and asked him to you know, find some shit, and he could not have wanted to do it anyway. He's a fucking German, dude. Yeah, that's what I said when Skiz told me that story. <laughs> no, like, yeah, it was it was a pretty uncomfortable experience for both of us. And we were like, wow, like, we really bothered him. Like, you know, we wanted to go up and kind of seem cool to him, but like... I surprised he wasn't like... What is this? You have peasants and then just shoot you away or some shit. <laughs> I can see that, yeah. Like a fucking German entourage. We just get rooted against the show, man. He got 3 0 by Doc, and we were just like, yeah. <laughs> Funny thing is, yeah. on my trip to uh, Genesis 3, I got I was on the same flight sitting next to Ice, and all we did was he was the right on person. We talked to his Smash for like two hours straight. He was actually right on. I don't know. Maybe you guys just caught him in the You know what I think it was? He was thinking, man, I'm going to get stuck next to some fat oak who's like fat is spilling over the side. And then like someone who's actually decent at the game sits down next to him. He's like, okay, this isn't going to be horrible. Yeah, like, <laughs> he's like, okay, I can talk about Smash on this plane ride and so not have to smell. Yeah. Really like yeah, he was so happy. And I was like, all right, yeah, that's, pro- awesome. that's probably why. I don't know. There's also you got to think about like context. Maybe he just like is pissed off about something. Yeah, yeah. true. We don't know. Like they're just walking around the venue. Yeah, but it's fun to judge. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, that is true too. <laughs> it's fun to be like, you know, fuck that guy. I'm gonna hate on him. Man. That, that is the Reddit mantra. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, we don't know, but it's fun to I, judge. I find, I find it quite easy to uh, you know, you don't know how fickle humans are. You have a bad experience with someone, you know. We hate them. You hate them, and then and then all of a sudden, like you'll we'll run into him next combo, and he'll be like in a happy mood, and I'll be like, man, I'm so wrong with yeah. that guy. Yeah. Or even they just look like someone you don't like. And yeah. You're like, eh. <laughs> 
<laughs> but right now, I hate him. <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't care. It's like, yeah, you know how much people hate on H Hbox online. That dude's actually right on. Dude, his Hbox is, was literally two goblins in a row, the coolest top player on Africa. Yep. Like nothing wrong with him. There, Hbox is right on his phone. Everybody got all these Twitch copy passes and shit about how Hbox was a dick to them or something. All because they play fucking. He plays Jingle Club. Yeah, it, it's because. I think it's also have bad Mango. Experiences. People have bad experiences that playing puffs in their in their own region, right? They, yeah. they go to they go to weeklies and they lose the and puff. They're and sick of seeing Hbox versus Armada every fucking yeah. weekend. And then and then Hbox gets that like quad back air combo that they just got hit with after last weekly, and they're like, "Fuck, I hate that shit." Yep. Yeah. yeah. Because a lot of people just have bad. Ex I think that's what it is. You, have, you have, blame your own bad experiences with Jigglypuff on Hbox when you watch them play. You just yeah. watch them. It makes it look so easy. You're like, "Fuck that character." And you, you just assume that the puffs are learning watching him. Yeah. <laughs> it's like if he wasn't there, they wouldn't know how to kill me. <laughs> no, I actually think even without a box, it's called the biggest thing in the world. It, oh, definitely. It, I can see the appeal of playing Puff. Like, there's, uh, you get to float around and, like, you know. Who was it today? <laughs> they were fucking popping up because they got that clutch rest. And I heard Shoto. 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 Yeah, he got Shoto. He was, like, rest. talking about it. I heard, overheard him. He's like, man. That clutchness was felt so good. Man. Well, I could, yeah, that that would be fun, man. Imagine like being the Jiggly Puff. You so know you're, what I mean? You're always down, pretty much, in the yeah. Fox matchup. Yeah, you pretty much, and and your best move is just a trade in stocks. Is all it is. Like. The only time you ever get a fucking break is versus like Samus. Yeah. <laughs> and low tier. Honestly, though, like actually, I'm really even. impressed with how uh, Ape is doing in this matchup right now. I just want to point that out. Earlier, actually, yeah, he was going pretty even. I'm, I'm impressed that Apow actually. He's playing for top. Like this is top six now. So already, maybe Falcon just wasn't there. So Apow goes chic, and then top six he beat. Nick Fade made top eight, so Nick just had to play Nick Fade. I mean, uh, Apow just had to play Nick Fade. Wow, did that, that impressive? Yeah, probably. I don't. It, it would look really close. Froger would have hit that. <laughs> Froger yeah, would have tried. He that. would. And you know like, what? Could could she can even kill? Him? Yeah, I guess charge up smash. Like as Samus, I don't ever dash attack Jelly Buff anymore because Froger just. Would Rest me every fucking time. Oh, oh that was that was such a wow. He actually made it. That was a free rest. Yeah, it was. I think Aldo thought he was dead. Just... Yeah, I think he thought he was dead too because that angle was actually sick. Uh, a rare sheik angle. That surprises me. People need to. <laughs> You're not uh, Falcon. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> yeah, I, I think your sheet could be really good, Apo. Yes. I'm gonna keep working. I think you found it. your character now. I hope yeah. so. I chickened out a couple times, like in my losers run. I played Falcon for two games, but I think I'll stick with sheet. Yeah. No, that was, that was. I mean, it's not all. You don't always find your character the first time. I know, dude. Oh, fucking she, she feels way better than Falcon ever has, and I've only been playing her for You know, it's like relationships. Sometimes a character has to break your heart. Yep. You know. Mm hmm Sometimes you get stuck in an abusive relationship where you keep coming back, like we're on Samus. No, that's the worst. <laughs> but uh, I think we're picking up Marath now. He's gonna duel me. I think he just. Yeah, I don't know. I think everyone should eventually just like. I think try everyone their hand should just play every different. character and yeah. then have one main that they only play in tournament. That's what I do. On netplay, I just rotate on people. Yeah. I feel like if I'm better than someone, I can generally beat them with every character in the top eight except for Puff and Ices. I can That's tell you I my feel. weakest character right now is Peach. Really? Yeah. Peach is Peach is probably like my number two right now. I always forget about Peach when I'm doing the rotation. Peach is so I love Peach. So I like to do all the top tiers first, but I always forget about Peach. <laughs> I think I only started playing Peach because uh, I could be lazy and down smash, and then I was like, Peach is actually cool. Peach is pretty fun. Yeah, in some matches, I like yeah. playing Peach Falco. Even though people think that matchup is trash, I, it's fun. It's so fun to just get that one hit as Peach yeah, and crush their soul. Yeah, when you get the when you get the zero to death as Peach against Falco, it's, or even when you just kill them like not zero to death. It's just, and they ever clip the bird. Yeah. You know. That's why I fucking love Samus. I just hit Falco with a down smash, one shoot a missile. He has only one recovery option. What's he gonna do? Yeah, nothing. Exactly. Meanwhile, I'll try to play that match with Falcon. I'm just like bobbing and weaving outside of fucking lasers. <laughs> I wish Michael was here. If he was playing like he was at Gamma today, I wouldn't stand a fucking chance. Yeah? <laughs> it's really funny. Gamma was hilarious. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Gauntlet was hilarious. We could have played anyone, but every time, Mike would either see me sitting down in the setup, or I would see him, and we'd just walk over, and we would just play each other for like two hours, and we'd be fucking playing on fire. And at one point, I didn't beat him. I didn't take a game for like 15 games in a row against Mike. Yeah. Falcon. He was fucking popping. It was the best I've ever seen him play. He gets like that. Yeah. I don't know why. Like, he just gets so focused. He gets so focused, he can't eat on tournament days. Is that what he's like? Yeah, like, uh, like I was at like Summit the first day, I was talking to him. I was like, I want to get food. So when we left, and there's like five, five o'clock maybe. Yeah. He's like, I haven't eaten today. I was like, oh, you must be starving. He's like, no. And then he ate like a couple bites of his food, and he, I finished his fries. He threw out the rest. He's like, I, I can't eat. Yes. I'm too focused. That's All the dope. blood left his stomach and went to his brain, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I I'm like the complete opposite. If I don't get food, I shut down. Yeah. But you all know that already. <laughs> yeah, I do know that. <laughs> yeah. What is this? Is this actually? Is this actually a thing? What the fuck? Can I can I go on strike? <laughs> yeah. Like, I got this fucking hearing bottle here. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> union says puff dittos are illegal. <laughs> so Ashenel needs a union eye so we can have no more puff dittos. <laughs> I remember hearing about fucking esports unions. Like, how would that even work? I don't know. How would how would players unionize against what? Yeah, there's no organization. What? Oh. oh okay. Yeah. Or like Dota, one that's he one that's heavily run by the game people. Or we could unionize against VG Bootcamp. <laughs> Fuck you, gamer. <laughs> I could see CSGO unionizing. I feel like that would be the first one. Because Valve is so uh, involved. I don't know. Blizzards are kind of cucks. Fuck you, Blizzard. So I would yeah. definitely unionize against them. <laughs> <laughs> Calling them out right now. Um. They have a fucking rule in their circuit where you can't taunt too much. What do you mean? If you taunt, like, if you aggressively taunt in their circuit, it's more in like the game. In general, in fucking uh, Overwatch, you can you get taunt in Overwatch like emote. Yeah, you can't emote spam. Wait, what? Yeah, apparently that's a thing. Like, don't. Why would you ban people? Why not just put like a buffer on the fucking emote if you don't want people to spam emote? Like, why would your first instinct be let's ban people who spam emotes instead of fucking like letting them spam the emote a few times and then the automatic buffer comes in? It's such a simple fix. It's considered harassment if you do it to time people. In pro games. Yep. Oh, like, I didn't realize excessively they were fucking vaginas. Yeah, that's so what I'm saying. Blizzard's cut, dude. Nintendo doesn't do that shit to us. Like, I, I could taunt Mario, like, every day for like, every single stock every time I hit it. <laughs> you know we're not allowed to have a sub button because we taunt too much. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not give them any ideas. Yeah, I really think we need to unionize against this matchup. Yep. Yeah. Let's unionize against Johnny. No, Johnny does everything. That's true. He just he just comes in and sets everything up. Alright. Let's unionize against Raleigh. That's the real yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hear that, Raleigh? We're unionizing against you. Smash and Hell's unionizing against you. <laughs> See what fucking happens. See what the next PR looks like. <laughs> Everyone who's in the union is not allowed on PR. <laughs> <laughs> and went to your union fees. <laughs> what do you mean? Tournaments are twenty dollars for me. <laughs> but we only have to play two sets a day. <laughs> <laughs> for a free venue. Do you guys have free food? No. There we do. But we get to pick our seating, and there's only two, two you sets can buy, No, you can buy seating. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Everyone, everyone takes an envelope and puts an amount of money in, and then seating is based off whoever put the most money in. Oh, God. <laughs> You know, whoever gives the most. Yeah. Real talk? Fucking unions and NL are so bullshit. It's 
because they were loving. At, wait, at what point did we have 15? When me, Ross, and Fancy were shooting shit, I think that was the best part. Yep. Uh, What's the chat saying? Uh, come on, chat, interact with us. Give us something to feed up. Watch now, the only person who replies is Michael Kang. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be like. I don't even know what he's gonna say. He's gonna say Wave Dash F Smash on Marth is the best projectile in the game. That's what he's gonna say. <laughs> What the fuck are we watching? This is why this is pushing us, and then we're watching fucking Jigglypuff's fight. Who is who? Uh, I think Jack's the the flower one. Jack, are you green? Yes. Okay, Jack. Oh, Dan he just won the puff dinner. Oh shit. Damn. Looks like he, looks like uh, Jack is the puff you have to look out for. Alright, game whatever. <laughs> is this two or this is game two? Check up 1 0 in the puff below. Six viewers? Yeah, because I wonder why. I wonder why everyone left. Yeah, 1 0 for Jack. This is so funny. This is funny in like not a ha ha way, but like. I get what you're saying. Yeah. You kind of like, you appreciate it the same way you appreciate it's like, like, a a good, like a good funny. scotch. Yeah. It's like you hate it, but you appreciate mm -hmm. the hatred. Yep. It's dark, it's dark comedy. That's what fucking Puff did us. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Shakespearean comedy where everyone dies, but it's still called yep. a comedy. Yep. It's fucking Hamlet or some shit. Yeah. It's like, yeah, Romeo and Juliet's a comedy where everyone kills themselves. <laughs> it's like, oh, they must have been some fucking sicko. <laughs> Faust at the moment. What is that? Faust. It's a, like, it's a German play. About oh Faust. my god, Jack. Seriously, bro. <laughs> There's a puff you know on the stream? Fuck, seriously. <laughs> I hope that fucking came through on the stream. If it did, <laughs> someone please uh, click that. Watch now. Jack will get all the way to Grand's and play me with the Jigglypuff. Nice. Jack's buff's actually pretty good though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm posting that to my fucking blog. Imagine if Jack played fucking brawl. He'd be really good at it. Yeah. He would be not afraid to camp that fucking platform. No. Alright, talking about the game sucks ass. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even know what to say. I'm just kinda here hoping Jack wins because I think it'll be funny. Oh, okay, that was that was the mix up. Oh, that was a <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a yeet moment. Yeah. That's a fucking yeet. They're neck and neck. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's five minutes left. Yeah, two stocks apiece. Zero percent. Two minutes into the game. Oh, what a crispy back. Here, smash. Thanks. I thought you were calling Riley Lightning McQueen for a second. <laughs> Good job. I was like, is he wearing Lightning McQueen shirt? But no. I wish we called Riley Lightning McQueen. <laughs> that should be his new tag. <laughs> but then again, Riley Reed's is a pretty sick tag. Ever heard her rap song? What? Riley Reed's. Oh no. Riley Reed's rap song? No. It's horrid. 
Did somebody make a rap? Oh wait, is that the one that APAW did? No, no, it's her. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's horrible. <sighs> yeah. She's a white girl who thinks she can say the N-word, too. Ah! Uh, yeah, she says it a lot. Just like the one that went up on Kendrick's stage. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's got better hand color than you're gonna miss Please, Jack, please. For fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, come on, you're jiggly. I have a billion options on the ledge. You can go to the other ledge. <laughs> That's an option. You died last time you did it. Maybe if we did it's it better. Shit together, yeah. You know. See, worked ish. <laughs> Just jump up and stand near the ledge. Don't do it now, because I told you. Somebody up stand near the ledge. Look at that, he did it. Look at that mix up. There we go, the mix ups are coming out. That was a grab. I would have up smash if she would Oh shit. The only time a puff dittos are actually interesting is the last like. Yeah, when you want it to be fucking over. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect edge guard. <laughs> oh my god, it worked. Oh man. Is it gonna be like communal? Yeah, well, everybody's gonna be. I say that fucking episode of Blue Mountain State. Fucking pocket pussy episode. You ever see that? <laughs> I saw this thing. <laughs> it was like, I think it's not Tasteless Gentleman. It was like something. It was like a tube with all these like bristles in it, oh, yeah. and you're supposed to put your do your dog's paw on it, and uh, it cleans their feet off when they're all muddy. And he goes, I went into the store and bought this, and the lady said, what kind of dog do you have? And I was like, wait, this is for a dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's all I thought about when you said pocket pussy. <laughs> But have you ever watched uh, Blue Mountain State? No, I haven't. Um, what is it? It's about football, right? Yeah. It's fucking hilarious, dude. Netflix that shit pronto. I don't have Netflix. Or... I don't really watch it. TV. Yeah. I'm not really a big TV guy. Neither am I, to be honest. There's only like... There are two things that I'm willing to watch right now. That's it. I watch like Game of Thrones. Nope. Uh, I watch like Rick and Morty. It's a big brain. High IQ. That. No, no. Have you seen the Xavier Renegade Angel? That's the true. That's the Chad. That's the Chad Large IQ show. Is it? Yeah. What it's is called it? XRA. Every episode's on YouTube. It's a Adult Swim show. Uh, have you watched Alan Tutorial? No, I haven't. <laughs> Do you know what it is? No. Oh. Uh, it's a bit of a commitment, but I like dark humor. It's worth it. Oh, I love dark humor. Yeah, it's uh, you gotta you gotta watch from the beginning, and it, it may seem like nothing is ever gonna happen, and you might get like 62 minute episodes in, and you're like, is anything gonna happen? But it will. Oh, okay. And when it does, it blows really, your mind. It really takes you by surprise. Oh, okay. It doesn't really blow your mind. It's just it's just fucked up. Yeah. You're kind of questioning whether or not it's real or not. So it's good. Okay. Yeah, fucking XRA is trippy as balls. Is it? Yeah. There's a lot of subtle wordplay in it. If I had Wi Fi, I'd show you a video of it. 
But you read a lot, so you'd probably get the subtleties of the humor in the show. Yeah, maybe. I haven't read as much this year. I'm kind of disappointed. I probably read like six or seven books. Audio books are my saving fucking grace, dude. Yeah. I, I've never listened to an audio book. I know. Since I drive a lot, and shit. Yeah. It's really helpful there. Like I'm two hours into Moby Dick now. I just finished Thomas Sowell's uh, Intellectuals in Society. That was actually a good fucking book. What was it? Uh, Intellectuals in Society by Thomas Sowell. What's it about? Exactly what the title says. Well, yeah, but like, you're asking more people than that. Oh, it's just like how intellectuals use wordplay and stuff to get around in society, despite the fact that a lot of their ideas are catas- have been proven to be catastrophic. For society as a whole, like socialism, communism, all that stuff. Uh, How it's still pushed by intellectuals, despite the fact we have I don't physical proof. I don't think they're true intellectuals. They're not really true intellectuals, though. Yeah, I know. Because, it's, like, it's about thought. They're intellectual up until the point where they're not smart enough to realize that no amount of intelligence can beat nature. Yes. Like, so that they're smart to a point, but I wouldn't really call but them... But they, like, they still get on, like, TV and they push these terrible ideals. I oh, well, yeah, like, but... That kind of intellectual, that's what it's talking about, the... The academic intellectual. Yes, those. This is really not an intellectual. Yeah. I've only ever had one professor that I felt like wasn't full of shit because he didn't say anything. Every time he's, like, he was a philosophy professor and every time people would argue, he's like, someone was like, well, the beginning of the universe. He's like, well, why did it have to be a beginning? Oh, we did like on that, and that was about it. And so he never made any statements, so he couldn't be full of shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can't be full of shit if you never say anything. But then again, yeah, he would just question other people's things, and then he'd be like, "I don't know the answer, but you don't either." And that was his answer. And then so like, he basically just Socrates bluntly, bluntly, yeah, bluntly, bluntly take apart your argument at its base. Yeah, and then not put forward, put forward arguments, but say he doesn't believe in any of them because he doesn't actually know. And then that would be about that's it. such a farce. That's that's the worst that's the best way to argue but the worst way to deal with the problem yeah <laughs> we have this complex social issue but you don't believe in the social issue <laughs> they aren't real it's not real we made it up yes but we st- it's still a problem yeah the pro- oh look at this he drops it thank god oh god PTSD from Mario days yeah I used to get double eliminated by Mario every tournament. That's rough. Like, there was a period, it was like a month, where I could see every tournament. I'd get like... I guess it was just how my seating worked. I'd get fifth every time, double eliminated by Mario. Jeez. For like two Did months. Did you come close a few times, too? Yeah. Uh, I came really close a couple times. But, um, one time I was... It was like game three, I was down four stocks to one, I brought it back to last stock last year. That was a good one. Yeah. Meanwhile, I just show up every now and then, just destroy them again. <laughs> yeah, I know. We can't all, we can't all be fancy. Um, I'm surprised more people didn't pick up Ganon just for like... Just to beat him. But I get, then again, I guess it's better than... Yeah. I was only doing it again because people were like getting... To the point of, like, you can't beat this fucking guy. I was like, it's not hard. I can do it with this shitty low chair. Just take it good. But I think everyone's good enough to the point where they could make it Mario obsolete. I mean, just randomly show up. Yeah. I don't even know what to say. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it because I'm going to ask you. Anything I say can and will be used against me. <laughs> Why, you don't think he's a No, I, I know he is. I just don't want to pick out his habit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, some of them are pretty universal across every matchup. Yeah. I think he knows them, though. Yeah. I, he, I think he's aware that they're there. Oh. Ross is definitely smart enough to figure that out. I don't know if he does any analysis, he's that kind of player, but... 
I definitely plan on starting to do analysis again once I get to my own fucking place. I can't wait, dude. Oh, in Toronto? Yeah. Yeah, what I don't need here. Like, all my life I've had roommates who are just like, living with my parents. It sucked. I can't wait to have just a whole fucking space. Yeah, I want to be rich in two years. Uh, yeah, start a business. Oh, I plan on starting when I come back to Newfoundland in a couple years. It, it's gonna be to fucking invest in property. Assuming that it hasn't gotten shit as long as it That could happen. Yes. But the point is, I'm gonna start saving up to invest in property. So ready? Once I get that ground work set up, start diversifying my portfolio of investments. But that's not really Smash related. There's actually a lot of arguments why diversification is a really bad idea. Yeah, there is. Because I like, mean, it's not when you're focused on one type of uh, investment. It's like the value you gain. It's like they balance each other out. Yeah. So like some of the investments that do well make up for the investments that don't, and you actually have really big progress. It's better just to like, like, I think it's just better to let money sit there. There's a lot of arguments for that. Like diversification is basically just like what banks recommend to people because they don't want to individually invest for every person. Yeah, that's true. It's like... People, what I mean by that, I mean like go into the job and just have physical assets. Yeah, I don't know. I probably would never want to get in the stock market. Unless I was owning something in it. Yeah, that's true. No. I, I guess physical investments are yeah, the way always. to go. Always. Land. There's nothing better than land. A piece of dirt. Yep. That's we'll, we'll never stop needing it. Yep. Um, I know. Uh, I mean, if I had the money to actually start investing in, like, stocks, I would just put that money in, like, startups. Yeah. Because, oh, like, weed startups right now or the way to go? Weed? Yeah. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> Everyone knows that. Yeah, I know. It. So like, yeah, all the rich people get priority on the investment. But you gotta also realize that uh, there's not a whole bunch of people in the stock market. What the fuck they're doing? There's, myself, there's not really. any. Yeah. No one actually. There's not a single one. Economics is 100% bullshit. But. Uh, yeah, the only way it works is if you start doing illegal things for the most part, or you get lucky. Or, like, one really good strategy is just... Don't play. Assume everyone is really stupid, and then wait for them all to think that they figured out the answer, and then bet against them. That's... I, I read a book on that. By Seth Lake, um, yeah. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, basically, like, you wait until everyone's like, oh, we know exactly what's gonna happen in America, and you're like, no, you don't. Mm -hmm. And because you think that... Like, it's not because everyone thinks that it won't happen, and then you just invest against them. Yep. And you, like, invest a thousand dollars. You lose, you lose a thousand dollars. You win, you make, like, a hundred grand. Mm -hmm. And, uh, over the course of your life, that will not. That's the, the only reason you need to do that one time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be set. Well, that's, that's be pretty well off. That's basically what Warren Buffett does. He just waits till he sees, like, it's like, okay, this is a stump, a company that's going to skyrocket in price within the next couple of years. Mm -hmm. Or this company is undervalued, so I'm just going to buy a lot of it. He's been right so many times that whenever he buys a lot of it, everyone's like, oh my god, this company must be amazing. So then everyone just follows his investments. Yep. So as soon as he invests, the company skyrockets value. It's just like... Yeah, he's created a snowball effect for himself. Yeah. When he invests, he just... He could invest in bad companies and he would still make money. they get out immediately. <laughs> Not that he would do that, but that's what he could do. He's just... So you're, he's gotten to the level where he influences the market. I still wouldn't want to live his life, though. Oh, no. He has no fun. Like, there's this video of him, like, it's just like following him through the day. Yep. Third richest man in the world. But when he wakes up in the morning, if the stock markets are low, he skimps out on his favorite sausage biscuit for a sausage muffin. Because it's actually like 18 cents, and if the stock markets are low, he doesn't want to waste it. And that's how he lives his life. I don't know, I guess to get that rich, you have to be like that rich. You know, you can be Jeff Benzos. You can be Warren Buffett. <laughs> or, I mean, you could be uh, Bill Gates. Or... Yeah, Bill be... Gates, then again, he's like, he has an amazing fucking top of the line house. Yeah, all this shit. Or you could just. 
Or you can just be damn Bazarian. Just be rich and be like, I'm just gonna generate a lifestyle where all the women want to be around, and then I'm gonna use that to make money on Instagram. Because I'm already rich enough to be rich. What a legend. You just gotta break through that ceiling, man. Yeah. I know Jack won one. What's the score there, Johnny? Is it 2 1? Why do I see like this stage? They have a lot of room to wave dash down. So. Yeah. The way I see it, it gives, also gives their opponent a lot of fucking space to keep them on top. It's a lot of yeah. I, I think Jack is going to finish here. Ross probably has to stand for him. He's not warmed up in this match. Saying that, he looks warmed up now. Fuck. It's gotta be hacks money and not like the fucking places move. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's funny because both of them are rusty. Ross is rusty. Agile from Jax is rusty. Yeah. The opposite of Mario. Yep. He does something cool to get a wobble, and then he drops it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you know he wants to. I confirmed it. Look how this actually changed to fucking real commentary. Eventually we had to. Yeah. It's so spontaneous though. We just warm up. Yeah. yeah. There was no. There was no middle ground. Yet. Also, Wispy fucked up the wobble too. Is that true? Yeah. I didn't think that was. It's depending on the direction you're facing. But you can't oh really? Up. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Ross is like, got so lucky there. Fucking that bad DI. Oh no. He gave you like I don't know. I believe in Ross. He's a fucking shine game master. Dude. He is, that is true. All I need is one blip. Oh my god. See, this is where it starts. <laughs> This is so a weird spot. Oh, that could be it. Oh my god. Yep. I told you I believe in us. That one Sean killed me. Never count Fox ever. No. Stage has left. Yeah, probably. Actually, I would 
taking a couple seconds to just calm myself. Yeah, because I looked a little nervous and dropped the last one. Oh. I commentate and I'm like, yeah, and then other matches just take all the energy out of my comment. Oh, yeah. Much respect to the commentators who can actually, like, the ones who get the fucking truck through every single match. Right? Yeah. Like, Fox Falco, I'm like, yeah, Young Ho. Icy's are on the screen, and I'm like, eh. Cross is playing hilarious right now. No. No. That's it. Uh, Grand finals. I think this is what the people wanted was Ross, Fancy. That's what I wanted. Yeah, for sure. This is definitely, in my opinion, the uh, the most even Grand Finals. Maybe Aldo Fancy would be really good as well. But I feel like Ross hasn't had a good stab at Fancy ever. You know what I mean? So, excited. Did you ever to have one of these? Buddy, I have no idea what that is, no. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> Imagine a calculator. Mm -hmm. Go! Fucking retarded. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh so, geez, That's so it's weird. meant to teach kids how to do math. Yeah. But it's a combination of a calculator and a bop it. And uh, I had one when I was a kid. I think that's what Ross is going to have to do here to win this matchup, is he's going to have to do a combination of math and bop it. But I think that's one of the best things you can do against him. So you got to tap those buttons, you got to twist it, shake it's like getting crouch cancelled, you got to be careful for that. Yeah. That's that's my comparison. It's I, wish, I wish I could play Smash on a box. <laughs> if the box is legalized, the box is legalized. Yeah, seriously. That's all I, I, I want a box. Ooh, Fancy Hop! Fancy Hop did it! <laughs> <laughs> that's a good way to start this set for Ross. I think I'm Ooh. feeling all right. But Fancy, typically a very strong defensive player. He's one of those people. He's gonna he's gonna get this back quickly. It's a Kawhi Leonard or like you know Shaquille O'Neal. Mm -hmm. Strong defense. He's got a very strong defense. That's for sure. Especially as Samus. He's like got some metal world piece defense. <laughs> Man, I'm down to see some of that. That's good. Before he went crazy and became metal world. Yeah, I was gonna say like back in the back in the Ron day. test. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Meta World Peace. Uh-uh. Meh. He's, he's an interesting dude, I guess. Have you seen the video of him getting in a fight with him? No. Oh my god, dude. He, he got an NBA game canceled. What the fuck? Yeah, he, uh, he got in a fight with, like, people in the hands. Like, the, the floor got rushed. That's crazy. Like, he was nuts. I guess that almost, I, I, knowing, like, even a little bit about him, I, I guess that makes total fucking sense. You know the crazy, like he's a bit of a, he's like a lunatic. Right? Yeah. He was behaving like really well. Like some guy was trying to start a fight with him and he walked away. Mm -hmm. And like this guy was at him and at him and he kept walking away. He's like, I'm not, I'm not getting in a fight right now. Yeah. And he was lying on the announcer's tape. His coach was like, chill, like don't, don't blow up right now. And the guy was screaming. And a fan throws a drink at him. And he just straight in there. And like, he's like this 6'8 dude. And he's just fighting and they're just surrounding him. And he's just in the crowd hitting people and they're hitting him back so a couple of his teammates rush in yeah. so there's three like NBA players just in his sea like average height white dudes <laughs> just <laughs> beating the fuck out yes shit. and then it just it, it was chaos that's wild man. yeah that fucking that dash attack shine was really cool I don't think really this is a game of stray hits for Fox Fox really just gotta get what he can until a certain point like in, in the early game, you're not looking for anything more than like an aerial with a shine follow-up kind of thing, right? Yeah. That's that's about as good as you get. Maybe sometimes you'll hit like a cool up air or something. But so this is where like Samus really excels here. She's kind of like low to mid. Because yeah, crouch cancel still fully online. Oh, Ross did not yeah. punish that the way he needed to. <laughs> Not intentional, but it was a really good crouch console on that down smash because uh, it allowed him to take the hit and go back on the stage. But yeah, Fancy's gonna clean that up with two stuff. I feel like it's gonna be really rough for, for Ross to beat the Samus. Yeah, for sure. I feel like every, every match is just gonna be a worse. Ross has not played a lot of. Uh, I can't imagine he's played Fancy like a ton, and he's definitely not played a whole lot of Samus in general. So I guess this is one of these things where, like, Ross basically only has the advice he's been given for other people. You know what I mean? He's got like some Samus tips and maybe a bit of Samus practice, I'm not sure. Maybe he's got that Eric Brown practice too. Maybe what Ross needs to do is treat... He needs to treat this Fox like he's Eric Brown. Or the Samus like he's Eric Brown. Those guys, they, they played a lot against Eric Brown. My boy E Money on the scene. Fancy might be a slightly higher caliber than E Money. I don't know. It would probably be E Money. Yeah. For sure. But very E Money probably win. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, now that you put it like that, I do agree. Look at this. Okay, that was smart. Ooh, another one. From Ross Cooks? Dude. Ross Cooks with gas. Oh, yeah! 
He's not cooking with none of that electric bullshit that these fucking Falcon mains are on, these Sheik mains are on. He is using pure fucking food oil. He's dirty. Straight out of the tire sand. Yes, man. He fucking plucking dinosaur bones out of that. Ooh. Unfortunately, he just got hit by a fucking meteorite in the form of a Samus fucking leg. Ross dash dancing. It's gonna be hard to trick a player like Fancy with just some dash dances. He's good though. Ross demonstrating he's got the uh, he's got the edge guards pretty decent. Right? <laughs> That's some color commentary. Oh shit! Fancy shooting shot. Where does the term color commentary come from? Uh, man, that's a good question. I'm actually not sure. Odd says it's racist. <laughs> and no one knows. Like, no, I, I feel like I know what you're like. I, I, like, I feel like it came from baseball. Be, you might be right. Like, I, th I feel like it's a baseball term and it's probably really racist. Maybe, yeah. Uh, I, I can't say I disagree with that. Hey, money? I have. I've been talking about him for like three minutes. I don't think so, but shout out to Eric Brown. Oh, that was, that was two, Fancy. yeah. Too many projectiles, right? Really. For sure. Oh, wow. if, if that killed, that would have... Yeah, Fancy really likes doing those, and if he knows his opponent's gonna, like, take that bait, he's, you know, he's having a feel for it. Oh, shit. That was definitely the best place I charged shot I added. I think on this stock I don't see anywhere else it could have, so he's kind of smart for uh, Fancy to hit it there. Awesome soap, looking so clean, but like... He was. Fancy just, sometimes he just kills you. Mm -hmm. That's the problem, man. Sometimes you just die. Ooh, all right, so that's the third or fourth time now Fancy's, uh, or uh, Ross has been a little uh, lax on the tether. He hasn't really challenged it. All right, there we go. Fancy misses his grapple, and that's going to take him both the last stock. But it is it is very difficult to edge guard once Samus has that tether. Yeah. But sometimes it's kind of like a mix-up whether you go and challenge it or not, you know what I mean? Because sometimes Samus no Like, if you, if you make it... Uh, kind of known that you're going to challenge it every time, like Samus has some shit, but if you're like every so often you run down and you know, like Rising Barret or some shit, you know, eventually you're going to hit Samus on the time. Right. Ross going to game three, his pick. FD looked good, but Fancy clutched it up pretty hard. I don't know if this is a good pick. I don't actually agree at all with this. Yeah. This is... This might as well be Samus' story. Yeah. That being said, I trust Ross and he is really good on this. He is, yeah. I can't say, like, if, if this is a comfort pick, it is definitely a great comfort pick for Ross. Oh, uh, good stuff like that. Yeah. That's the thing, Samus' down air cover is, like, the entire thing she's playing. Oh. Um, I, think, I definitely think Ross can do it. Um, and he's good on the stage, and he can get such early kills. Yeah. Samus' punish game is it's nice on the stage, though. It's just that, that, that those down here connections just... I just think, ooh, nice. Doesn't kill, though. Fancy DI and like fucking crazy. Man. I think one of the big things is you remove Samus' ability to kind of, uh... uh just threaten like that, you know what I mean? Like, typically Samus doesn't have as much breathing room, but the issue is Samus does tend to excel, like her defensive play does excel when she doesn't have a lot of breathing room and she can kind of hit those CC, yeah. like, CC smash attacks. And that oh my god, that was sick. Fancy playing like a man who's practiced follow-ups. Fancy playing like a man who's played this game. Uh, several times, I imagine. Alright, look, see, Ross threatened then. The second he threatened, Fancy crumbled on the That's true. You gotta be that honest. was really, that wave dash back shot. Was yeah. smart, that was yeah. so nice. Look at this, alright. Um, oh. He can, he can get that. Oh! Under. Oh! Ross. Ross. Rossington. Alright. 
unfortunate, but... That was still sick. Yeah. The fact that he, he went all the way up there and did what he needed to do. Alright, no up air follow up there. Man, these weak back airs are not doing anything for us. Okay. That, I actually really like this no light thing. Yeah, I thought we had a power advantage for a second, but then the melee kept happening. Yeah, I thought, the, I thought there was a power outage, but the melee It's just powered off the hype. It's hype powered, man. Damn, that follow up is fucking nuts. What? We used melee hype as power for electricity. Ah, uh, well, fucking NL. Well, yeah, dude, fucking NL power would be out of business. Fucking uh, the dam, you know, Muskrat Falls, that'd be shut down. Oh, oh this is good. There it is! There it is. In the words of Kishoto, there it is. A clean three on a handshake. Grand Fancy's Finals, just too five. good. I'm not clapping. I'm, gonna, I'm not clapping. I'm not clapping, Fancy. No claps for Fancy. I'm clapping. Fancy takes his last tournament in St. John's. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Peace.